Hello and welcome to episode 58 of my podcast all about knitting and crochet and my yarn shop here in Wiesbaden, Germany. I'm Kiko and today is July 13th, 2020. Today I'm again wearing two fairly old things and I'll start as usual with my shawl and the pattern is called Dotted Rays by Stephen West. And it's this um, asymmetrical shawl uh, with lots of holes in it and I used um, a shoppel yarn that's uh, a lace yarn by shoppel it's called lace ball and um, it has this long gradient color um, this long color gradient <laughs> going from light blue to dark blue and it kind of shows off the the way the shawl is knitted because it's knitted with lots of um, short rows and the holes is where you turn round so instead of trying to hide where you turn round um, while doing the short rows he sort of accentuated the the points and um, this is how the whole design comes about and I really like it a lot I'm not sure the beads were part of the pattern but I just love to add beads to my shawls so that's what I did just for the cast off. Yeah, so that's the shawl. And the jacket I'm wearing is, um, uh, I knitted that one in 2012, so it's quite a few years old, but I still love it a lot. It's a very simple jacket, it's knit. You start with the back, you knit up, you increase for the sleeves, then you split for the two fronts and both fronts are knit down and then just there's just two seams to be sewn, one right and one left. And it's a fairly simple lace pattern, but I like it very much. The yarn is um, called Zekondo by Lana Grossa, and it's a mix of cotton and, um, and silk. So it's, a very, it's very nice to wear, especially for summer, and just something small to throw over if it's not really too warm. Or maybe in the evening when it gets a little cooler, you just need a little something. So I love wearing that in the summer. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm wearing today. And on to finished objects. I have two finished objects today. And the first one is another... Uh, something that I started knitting years ago and I showed on my special video on the German channel with all my unfinished objects and what I showed there was one of these um, it's, not, it's more than a wrist warmer I'm not quite sure how you call them so they look like arm warmers <laughs> maybe um, yeah like leg warmers for the arms and I just love the pattern and I love knitting them I also knit several pairs of shorter um, wrist warmers and I also knit the pattern with lace yarn and did um, smaller um, wrist warmers with lace yarn but I never knit the second um, arm warmer to this and that's what I did last week. So I had kept the ball of yarn that I need to knit this um, to make sure that it's the same dye lot and now finally I just knit the second warmer. And it was, it was fairly quick, so I have no idea why I waited so many years to do that. And this is what was left over of the 50 grams I had. It's a pure baby alpaca by Hansa Farm. Very beautiful color as well. And um, yeah, I mean to write the pattern down someday. I won't promise when I'll get around to doing that. But um, yeah, so that's my first finished object for this week. And, and that's also both of the small projects that I show in the unfinished objects video. Um, they're both finished now, so all the other ob um, projects are a lot bigger um, and it will take me a lot longer to finish them, so I won't be showing off a finished object every week from that uh, video. And the other thing I finished is my kangaroo shorts, my kangaroo shorts, another pattern by Stephen West. And I was, um, I'd was i almost finished it last week and now I've bound off all the stitches with an eye cord and all the blue stripes are finished and the trousers are done. If I hold it like this, you can see both sides, so with the different colors that I used. <laughs> um, 
yeah, and I'm very happy with it. I haven't put in elastics yet. I kept the this bit open so I can put elas elastics in and I haven't washed it yet, but I won't be able to wear it now anyway. So um, I have enough time to do that. And um, and then someday when, it, when it's gotten colder, I will be wearing the shorts and the pullover together. And then I can, sh I can show you how they fit together and what they look like together. But it's way too warm to be doing that today. Kangaroo's done. So that's my finished objects for this week. And on to works in progress. And the first pair of socks I'm going to show you, I always start with my socks. So this sock I couldn't show you last week because I'd forgotten it at home. And it's this funny sock. It's a color by Opal from the series Fairy Tale. Um, it's the Magic Potion color. And this is the sock that I knit. This is an old pattern that I um, knit years and years ago. Uh, and I remembered that and I wanted to try it again. And what I really like about the pattern is that those stripes that are quite straight here, um, that they get broken up and you get this kind of zigzag or you get these little squares of color that uh, look funny. The only thing um, I would change when I knit the when I knit the pattern again is this gets really tight. So this is not very flexible and I can get my foot in but it's quite difficult. So I think next time I knit the pattern I would just do one more pattern repeat for the leg. So instead of using 60 stitches I'd be using 66 stitches and then I would decrease the six extra stitches before I knit the foot because for the foot the 60 stitches are perfect uh, for me. So um, yeah and I also like with this sock that you can you have the um, you can see how the colors come out differently whether you knit in stockinette or you knit with this pattern. So I quite like um, that you can see that right next to each other. And this is the beginning of the second sock. Not a lot yet but I did start and as you can see the socks are going to be different because I'm the color uh, I'm knitting is the same color that's here so as this is going to come up here everything will be um, just a little offset but the nice thing is that this stripe that you also have here it's like a checkerboard pattern um, you don't really have that in pattern in this pattern here so with a second sock uh, this will show in the pattern and then the heel will have a different color and I, I thought it was quite funny that the heel and the toe ended up having the same color so um, I'm expecting the same thing to happen for the second sock but it's going to be a different color so that should be interesting. So that's the first pair of socks then the second pair of socks I um, have been knitting on last week is my proper spiral socks even though this pattern kind of spirals it's not a proper spiral sock um, but I told you I started knitting a spiral sock out of DK weight yarn from Sweet Dreams from Opal and I used this cuff pattern from the book by Bernd Kessler. As far as I know the, pattern is, uh, the book is only available in Japanese or in German but all the patterns, all the socks are charted so if you can read knitting charts um, it's fairly easy to knit from that book even if you do not understand the language. And as far as I know, the Japanese book is cheaper than the German. At least in Japan, the Japanese book is cheaper than the German book is in Germany. <laughs> so if you're someplace else, you might check on online which book is easier for you to get. And if you're, if you're familiar with knitting charts, you can knit all those cuff patterns just from the charts. And also the, the spiral socks, they're, they're very easy to do anyway. And they're free patterns for the spiral socks. I think there are several free patterns online anyway and um, the interesting thing about the book is really the different um, cuffs that you can knit. So, so as you can see I finished the first sock and I put in a single color toe just for fun and um, I started the second sock again not a lot but um, there's another reason why I haven't been able to knit a lot on the second sock and that's because once I finished the first sock, I used this needle to knit the color work on my pullover. And only after I finished that could I start the second sock. 
And now I have to, I will try to finish this sock before I finish the second sleeve on the pullover so I can use this needle again for the color work. So it's quite fun to be knitting the socks and the pullover, sort of chasing each other so that I can use the needle whenever I need it. And I only need to knit like the, the sock itself and the toe is knit on double pointed needles because I can't knit the toe or I can't knit that kind of toe on a mini circular needle. So um, as soon as I put the stitches on the double pointed needles for the toe, then I can um, go and finish the sleeve. I'll show you in a minute. So that's that was two pairs of socks. And then the third pair of socks that I'm knitting are the the very bright pink shorty socks that I started knitting and I haven't done too much on them because I kept putting the heel off, finishing the heel off. Um, but now I finally knit this, this bit of the heel and I picked up the stitches from the sides here and here. And I've started the decreases. I've done maybe three or four decreases both here and here. And I've started the lace pattern That's, that comes on top of the foot. And it's these like round pattern thingies that keep repeating now. So that's one pattern repeat and um, that'll, that pattern will go down on the top of the foot. Yeah, so now that I've actually finished this bit, I hope knitting on, on this sock will uh, continue a bit quicker than it did last week. Yeah, and as I said before, the socks are always a nice project to be carrying along because it's very small to put in a bag. And especially if I'm at a point like this where it's easy to um, continue even without instructions, even without um, without having to count too much or without, without having to look at things too closely, like picking up stitches from the side. That's something I don't like to do on the go, but I'll, I need to take some time and concentrate. Yeah, so that's all the socks um, I'm working on at the moment. I haven't continued knitting, or I haven't continued knitting on the uh, girl's dress that I showed last week, but my sister is still busy working on that, so I'll show that when it's um, time for me to, to finish it up. But I have knit both on my Haramaki and the Haruni Kawo. Um, and this is the Haramaki I'm knitting on at the moment. And I told you last week that I wanted to use this light blue as the second contrast color. And I just put in a few rows just to see what it looks like. And I like it. I think it's a good was a good choice. And now I just need to keep knitting um, with a few increases and decreases so that it is on the bias. And um, yeah, so that's my project for the next interesting movie when I find the time to watch a movie because I don't really have to watch my knitting with that. But I hope to finish that soon. And the same goes for the Haruni Kawal. It's the same pattern as the Har Haruni Shawl that we're knitting as a knit along. But uh, this Kawal I'm knitting is part of the pattern fight whatever, Musterschlacht is the German word, and it means that everybody is knitting with this color out of the Opal subscription, and you can only sign up if you pick a pattern that no, no one is knitting um, yet with this color. So I chose the Haruni Kaul because nobody has chosen, had chosen that pattern before for this um, color, and I've started adding in the beads, so as with the with the shawl, there will be seven beads on top of each other. And so far I've added in five. So there's two more rounds um, with beads going in here. And then there's a bit of chart without beads. And then when I cast off, I will put in beads again. But I'm really happy with the way the beads look combined with this yarn. And um, I think they're quite quite visible. The pink's a bit darker than in the yarn, but uh, I also like the other colors that sort of come through. So some yellows and some oranges, sometimes even a bit of green. Um, yeah, so can't wait to finish this and block it because I think once the pattern's been blocked, um, the beads will show off a lot nicer. 
so that's that. Then on to the crochet projects. Um, last week I showed you lots and lots of squares that I both crocheted and knit. This week it's only crochet because I did not continue on my memories blanket. Um, I just couldn't fit that in. Um, I have so many projects on the go at the moment and I do enjoy having different projects going at the same time but it also means that within one week I'm not always able to um, work on all of them. So this week the memory blanket uh, didn't get worked on and also the Hitofude jacket but I'll come to that in a minute. So last week I showed you um, 10 of these little granny squares with green in them. Uh, I, I used mostly 10 gram minis by Opal, but I also used a few colors where I had leftovers that had more than 10 grams. So um, I did 10 squares with nine rounds. And then I took nine of the squares and I put in the 10th round in this light green. It's the neon green by Opal. And while crocheting this last round, I attached the squares to each other. And I did one big square with three to three, three times three squares. And I'm really happy. And um, because this uh, adds another row to every square, the whole thing grows a bit as well. So now it's a bit easier to measure it and to figure out how many squares I want to do. So I know this is not this is not a blanket. I mean, this would could pass as a cushion cover, but not a blanket. And um, four squares and even five squares is probably too small. So I'm still aiming to do six times six, maybe, maybe even bigger. I don't know yet. I'll just continue crocheting whenever I find the time and I feel like it. And because I'm crocheting another blanket at the same time now, and I really want that. Um, to be finished as quickly as possible. This might get put to the side for a time, but I will try not to forget about it. And if I do, please remind me. So the other blanket I started crocheting, I showed you last week that I'm doing a, um, it's the pattern is called Cat Lover Blanket. And it consists out of these squares um, with the round motif in the middle. And this was, I think, the first cat that I crocheted with the ears and the tail. And then, oops. And with this, I'm trying to crochet one square every day. And so far, I actually managed to do that. So this is another square with a cat. This is a blue cat. And then this is just a circle. And another circle. Oh, no, this is another cat. This is a green cat. And this is another circle. And because I don't have the same amount of time available for crocheting every day, I try to work ahead a little bit and I just crochet four of these circles that go in the middle. And with these circles, it's still I can still decide whether to do just one of these motifs or whether I want to do a cat. And even when I've added the second color, I can still choose um, but with the third color, the third color determines whether it's going to be just one of these motifs. Then I use three of the neon colors, or if it's going to be a cat, I'll use black um, because the cats are all black on the outside. Yeah, so I still have to finish one square for today. And if I manage to do that, I will post that on Instagram. So if you're curious, you can um, watch on Instagram whether or not I managed to do one square every day but if I don't it's not too bad I just want to make sure that I keep crocheting and finish it as soon as possible because basically I'd wanted to give that blanket away two years ago um, so yeah it's more than time to get that done and that's why I'm trying to push myself a little by um, doing one square every day but even once I finish the squares I still have to assemble them and Maybe put the eyes and noses on and, and crochet a border around. That's part of the pattern as well. So there's still a bit of work involved. And the last crochet project for today, I crocheted another square for the Carnaby Crochet Along out of the Simply Crochet magazine. And this is the cotton version that I'm crocheting. 
it has completely different colors from the one in the magazine but I really like these colors together and this is the July square and I have not quite finished it there's um, the two rounds missing with the dark blue uh, I just yeah didn't manage to finish that but that should be no problem to do this week and then I can show you the finished square next week and then I'll have to wait for the next issue to be published uh, in August and then I can do the next part of my canopy crochet long pullover. So that's all about the crochet and the squares. As I said before, I did not knit on my thought for the jacket. I just uh, get, didn't get around to doing that. I'll make sure I'll uh, continue knitting this week and maybe even deciding on how long I want the jacket to be and maybe even finishing it. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. But uh, even if I don't finish it, I, I want to make sure I do continue knitting on it um, because I really want to wear it as soon as possible as it's a light summer jacket. I did knit on my pullover. As I said, with the spiral sock, I needed the needle to um, finish the sleeve. So I knit, the, I, I knit everything that's a single color on the pullover and stockinette stitch. I knit on a four millimeter needle, but for the color work, I always use a smaller needle. So that's a 3.5 needle because I tend to loosen up when I knit color work. And uh, so that's why I changed the needle. So I knit the sleeve until here on the four millimeter needle and then I knit the, the rest of it, both the color work and the ribbing, I knit on the 3.5 millimeter needle. And the first sleeve is done. And I'm really, really happy. And if I put the sleeve like this, you can see that it's the same pattern. So this pattern repeats on the sleeve and this pattern just repeats here. So I have two different patterns and they both appear twice. I knit the rib ribbing a bit longer because um, I thought it looked nicer on my arm. Uh, I kept trying it on. So I hope the second sleeve will work out a bit quicker because I don't have to try it on all the time. I just know how I want the sleeve to be so I can just keep knitting. And uh, another interesting fact when I started my sleeve here, you can see the dark bit is part of the yoke and then the light blue is, or the lighter blue is where the sleeve starts. But because I ended with the part where the um, yarn is just getting darker, I started this sleeve with the dark bit of the yarn. So the color of the yoke and the color of the sleeve are actually the same and you can't really tell where the sleeve started. And it means that both sleeves will look different because this dark bit will be up here and then all the colors will be a bit different. The color work section will have a diff different background, but that's something I really enjoy. So I'm very happy about that. And I would never cut any yarn out or unwind the yarn to find the same exact, e exact spot. I know some people prefer to do that and that's absolutely fine. And if you want your sleeves and your socks to match, why not do that? But I don't mind having different sleeves and different socks and I rather enjoy that. So that's what I do. So that's a snowflake pullover. And that gets us to the Haruni shawl, the knit along that we're doing on this YouTube channel and the German YouTube channel and the Ravelry group. Um, I had finished putting all the beads in last week. So that was chart B. That's these beads, they're not, uh, they're smaller than on the cowl, that's why it's harder to see them. But I hope once the shawl is blocked, they'll be quite visible. And I knit part of chart C, so you can see how the decreases come together and they form this leaf pattern. And then the lace pattern in between the two leaves is growing. And these rows are quite easy to knit, there are no beads, the pattern is very logical, so I don't have to look at the pattern a lot. But the only thing is that the rows are getting really, really long. I think the number of stitches is decreasing actually at the moment, but it doesn't really feel like it because um, there's already a lot of stitches on the needle. Um, yeah, so I think it's four more rows that I have to knit. And then there's the bind off, I'll put more beads in the bind off, I'll put bigger beads but with the same color as these. 
So I'm really looking forward to seeing how that uh, will look once it's done. And um, yeah, so not quite sure yet what I'll bind off first, the shawl or the, the cowl, or maybe at the same time, we'll see. I'm, I still have quite a bit left over from my second ball of yarn, so that should be perfectly enough to finish the shawl. And yeah, and once I finish the shawl, the official knit along will be over. It doesn't mean you can't finish your shawls and you can still put your pictures and your comments in the Ravelry group. I'll be very happy to see these and read these. Um, I still haven't opened an English speaking thread for the knit alongs. Maybe I should do that now. Or maybe with the next one, we'll see. Um, yeah, talking about the next knit along, I've been thinking of what to knit next. And um, because it's in the, it's the middle of summer right now, I thought we could knit something summer, some, some, something for summer. <laughs> and I decided to look for a pattern that works with the Catania, with the cotton yarn by Schachenmeier that I also sell in my shop. And I came across the pattern Gemini, um, that's available on knitty.com. So it's a free pattern and it's a short sleeve pullover or top that has a bit of lace pattern, very simple lace pattern uh, on the top of the pullover and the rest is simple stockinette. And at first I thought about maybe combining several colors if it's such a simple pullover, but then one of my friends uh, suggested I use the multicolor yarn that uh, Catania has. And so I decided to go for this color and probably combined with this color. I'm using this color also in my um, Carnaby crochet along. So um, the first bit of my square that I did today, this color, that's, um, that's that color crocheted up. So it'll probably look a bit different again once it's knitted but I think those two colors go together really nicely and right now I'm thinking of maybe doing the yoke in the lighter color and then doing the rest in the darker color I'm thinking of doing a short sleeve version but that's up to you it's knit top down so you can decide for yourself how much lace pattern you want to put in or how little or you could do a different lace pattern if you want to you can do short sleeves, long sleeves, you can do a short pullover, a long pullover, you can knit it wide or form fitting, whatever you want. It's a very um, versatile pattern and uh, yeah, and I, I thought if I told you about it now you can have a look at your yarn stash and see if you have anything that goes with the pattern. You can have a look at the pattern beforehand and see if you like it and then maybe we can start the knit along at the beginning of August. That's maybe a nice um, date to start on, August 1st. And, um, and as it's a fairly small uh, pullover, if you do short sleeves, um, that's something that, that you could still finish and maybe knit while it's still warm enough. Or one, one could uh, wear a blouse or a top underneath and maybe even wear it into autumn. And if you only finish it in winter, you can wear it next summer. Um, we should probably have a next summer again. Yeah, so that's all I knit and crocheted last week. I hope you enjoyed seeing all my projects and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!